CUBE live in New York City where we are on the ground covering Hadoop World 2011, the CUBE, uh, in addition to the CUBE, and Dave and I doing interviews all day yesterday and today, got our, got our second win for today. We have a, on the ground all our bloggers, Clint Finley, Alex Williams, Mark Risen Hopkins, Kristen Nicole. We are in sessions, we're talking to people in the hallways, we're getting all the stories, and we're going to bring that to you via the CUBE. We'll have them on here, we'll see them on the site at siliconangle.com. Go check out all the stories. Hadoop World is on fire, Dave, it's really hot. Um, you're hearing from you know, people in the trenches. They're using Hadoop, HBase, he mentioned Uzi for the coordination. Um, it's real, I mean, this is so cool because he was saying he's running Oracle and he couldn't get the things done. It's like, I mean, that's what's it's happening. I mean, even, you Never know, finished. Yeah, I mean, the <laughs> tables are so big and the data's get becoming so massive, they really need to kind of change the game on the analytics and that's just one of many examples. And you know, we use HBase uh, and Hadoop uh, SiliconANGLE, so you know, I mean, you know, the stuff you can do now that you couldn't do three years ago. So, really compelling. Mike Olson kind of said it yesterday whole new tsunami of an ecosystem that's going to change business and change society. And I thought, you know, that wasn't really picked up much yesterday in, in, in our conversations, but you know, that, that whole society message was really compelling that, that Mike Olson kind of weave into his keynote. And you know, for the greater good, you're seeing big data being used at the government level, um, you're seeing it used for you know, helping people, all kinds of cool stuff, so it, it's awesome. So we got it covered here at Hadoop World. You know, I just want to mention, to a lot of folks out there, this is new, right? We, we, we kind of take it for granted. We've been coming here now for a while. You've been all over the big data trend. You got us into it early on. Uh, but for a lot of folks, there's a lot of buzzwords. You got pig, you got hive, HBase, things that you've maybe never heard of before. So. So uh, I want to just let you know, uh, Jeff Kelly and some other members of the Wikibon community just published uh, the, the Wikibon Big Data Manifesto. Go to wikibon.org, uh, check out, you know, just search for the Big Data Manifesto and you'll find it. There's a lot of information in there. Um, ask a question if you're not sure. We'll try to get you an answer. Go to siliconangle.com, go to siliconangle TV, check it out, we're here to help. You got questions, hopefully we have answers. Okay, we're going to take a quick break and we're going to come right back. I'm going to keep rolling. Okay, great. So. Um, Okay, so some news today breaking um, that uh, we're getting over the wire here. Um, yeah, so let's have a news break. Uh, we're going to bring on Alex Williams. Is Alex... Uh, he's, he's got remote okay, Alex has got some uh, uh, remote news that he's going to bring in. He's, he's on the show floor. He's talking to people. Uh, yeah. So are we ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so okay. Alex will be joining us in a few minutes. So we're going to Skype him in, so this is cool. He's going to be on the Wi-Fi with Skype with a video remote. Uh, we're trying to do new things here, it's cool, so we're going to try to bring him in. But in the meantime, looking at the stories today, uh, Facebook, Pandora, Netflix, Rhapsody Games, and Electronic Arts, Zynga, Rovio, which is Angry Birds. More apps and more games coming to the Kindle Fire next week. And, and really, Dave, the, the, the Kindle is just a really, really strong alternative. Amazon is sneaking up in this game, putting the App Store out there, they have an e-commerce back end, so, um, you know, they've really done a good job of entering in. Love the in. Kindle. They're coming in, Mark Hopkins uses it. I know you have the iPad, I have the iPad. I have um, a Kindle too. Do you? Okay. Yeah, I, I use it all the time. Yeah, battery life's phenomenal. So, you know, this is a real serious threat to the iPad. And so, you know, they're doing a good job. <laughs> Other news uh, that we saw is that uh, HP is reconsidering WebOS. So, uh, story came in, uh, essentially that. Good, <laughs> thank God. So, well, no, they wasn't saying, they're just saying Meg Whitman um, has stated that they're not sure what they're going to do with WebOS. Essentially a cry for help saying, um, people don't freak out. I personally have been on record, as you know, and been ad advocating that WebOS should hang around because it's got so much possibilities. It still has a loyal developer community. Well, that's dropped a bit over the past, uh, uh, year because of the whole debacle, I think but, it's, but it, it, it's an alternative, and, and you know, like I said, at, like on our last Cube at HP, an Apple senior engineer told me privately that of all the things in the marketplace, WebOS is really the only threat to Apple. So the Apple people are, are saying that WebOS is actually the really only viable alternative. So just you go, oh my God. HP, hold on. How to can you it. not play? Okay, you gotta get in there. Yeah, have an Android. Have you know a couple horses in the race there, but you can bring WebOS. You can repurpose it. Get into a new architecture. Get your bill of materials on some hardware down lower, around ninety nine dollars, and compete at the Kindle Fire level. So HP can compete. I believe they can do it. Hire the get the smartest people working on it. HP Labs is strong. So. You know, obviously I'm bullish on this. So well, I think the other point uh, that's worth mentioning is your scenario, the fact that HP now, I think correctly, is going to keep the PC division, that's a distribution channel. 
for WebOS and the tablets. Uh, you, you've told the story uh, about the calculator division and how that actually was a distribution channel for printers, which essentially saved HP. Yeah, HP was right? saved by the laser yeah. printer back in the, uh, in, the, in the 80s, I mean, 85, when the printer came out, the Wang word processor was the hottest thing, and the penetration, and just the overall growth in the channel that would not have existed if the calculator division wasn't there. And at the time, it wasn't making any money. So, you know, if you were a, you know, operator, you'd be like, oh, let's kill that division, we're not making any money. But, no one wanted to kill the calculator division at HP because Bill Hewlett's baby was the calculator. And you know the story is is that he built up a, a calculator you can put in your pocket. We've all used an HP calculator at some point in our life. And so that legacy just hanging around ended up the timing for that channel was amazing. So I believe that even though they're number one in PCs, as they get their manufacturing and their supply chain, shift that over, you can easily come out and engineer a bill of materials for a low cost. Amazon's doing it, other people are doing it. HP certainly has the expertise to do that. Uh, more news, uh, Yelp is uh, getting ready to do an IPO. It's gonna, the company's going to be valued between one to two billion. I love Yelp, I use it all the time. I don't know if you guys use it out there, but it's a fantastic service. Um, Yelp's an interesting company. I mean, I think it's harder for Yelp to sell advertising than it is, say, for a Facebook and obviously a Google, uh, but it's a great service. They get a lot of users, and, uh, and so that's you know more IPO. We saw Groupon go. Um, more IPO you know, fever, maybe it's not fever, but there's a, a little tepid, tepid. So we had a story that uh, was on Silicon Angle yesterday that went viral. So when, on our talk with Amr Awadala, you know, he talked about you know, Pig, Hive, and Hadoop, and all this stuff, but we actually talked to him about gaming because he's a real gamer, and, and uh, we wrote a post, Kit Dodson wrote a post on SiliconAngle.com that said, uh, you know, Cloudera is a CT, CTO and VP of Engineering co-founder Amr Awadala. He did a quick review of uh, Modern Warfare 3. That thing went viral. I mean, this, the Modern Warfare game is just on fire right now. So, you know, of all the content that he did yesterday, that little snippet about the Modern Warfare 3 review was a home run. Did you see his body language when <laughs> he lit when up? He brought like, oh, that up. Yeah, He's like, talk about gaming. Um, so, you know, a lot of gamers. And what I liked about Amr was that he essentially challenged the audience, and I'll reiterate it here: the Cloudera engineering team has put out a challenge that they will play anyone in Modern Warfare One, uh, which they do internally every day. Um, at like around four o'clock, the Cloudera engineers take a break and they play Modern Warfare One against oh, each other. That. It's kind of like team building, I guess. Um, so he said, if anyone wants to challenge him, bring it on. So <laughs> um, let's get LinkedIn or you know, Google. Hey, bring your best A game. You know, pick up, pick up game for Modern Warfare One. Cloudera will, will challenge you. So you know that is out there. Uh, I'm going to write a blog post on. It. I thought that was clever. So you know, you'll hear more about that. And I think that's just a, a cool thing.